the malt going around for four days drying. We have rough flour that we call grist. And the reason we're doing this is can you see the white starch? black mark against the wall and it's from this pool okay is that everybody so ladies and gentlemen this is the warehouse on any of the um, 70 litre bottles of malt whiskey um, so that's the first one so we'll do the first yeah, one first okay. we'll tell you in Perthshire. There, he was crowned with a sapphire of gold by Isabella. wanted to pop on here and talk a little bit about my weekend trip. So 
Um, the first place that I went to with my brother was Pitlockery, which is just this adorable little village outside of Edinburgh. It's about an hour and a half by train. And it is just the most picturesque, quaint place you will ever go to. Um, it has some good hiking spots and gorgeous views. And, you know, I just had a fantastic time. It was nice to get out into the countryside, out of the city, breathe in some fresh air. Um, there was a waterfall, as you saw, a river, a dam, and there was a distillery, which um, was called the Blair Athol Distillery. I have my little tasting glass. Um, I don't know specifically if this has like a name, but I am not one for whiskey or alcohol, but I tried all of them and then brought them home in vials because I'm a wimp and did not finish them. But the distillery tour was incredible and I did taste, I tasted the whiskey, I tried them. Not converted to a whiskey drinker yet. Don't know if I ever will be, but hey, when in Scotland. Um, Blair Athol was one of the oldest distilleries in Scotland, I believe. And um, the tour was incredible. Also, I picked up there if I can find it, I picked up a little pen. So this is an otter, obviously. Um, this is the one for my boyfriend. Mine is currently pinned on my backpack, but um, those were, I think, like a little one pound donation per pen. And the otter is the mascot of the distillery because it lives in the stream where they get their water for the processing from. And unfortunately, no, I did not see one, but maybe one day. I also purchased a little gift for myself. Um, I figured while I'm in Scotland, I have to buy one thing that is made of tweed because it's Scotland. And also, you know, with the last name tweed, I feel like I was obligated. So I bought this little 100%, I think it's 100, yeah, 100% 100 pure wool um, Scottish Harris tweed, which my fashion expert brother was telling me is like legally protected tweed that's made in Scotland. And I believe this bag was um, made and handmade in Scotland. And it was, you know, not overly expensive and it was very cute. I'll definitely be using it. So that's like the one tweed thing I'm gonna, you know, take home with me from my trip here. And then to talk about the castle. So Edinburgh Castle um, is a fantastic day trip, both that and Pitlockery are. The castle is insane. Obviously those don't exist in America. I think the closest thing we would have is like the Biltmore, um, which is not the same thing. It's not like a stone medieval castle with dungeons and like a view because the castle sits on, I believe it's an extinct volcano, so it overlooks the city and is absolutely stunning. I mean, I think it's worth it just for the view, but the tickets I think were only like 14 or 15 pounds, not overly expensive, and it is a huge amount of history, and you see such incredible things. I couldn't videotape or take pictures of some things, you know, like the crown jewels and certain buildings, um, because they need to be preserved properly, which I understand. So definitely go see them in person if you have the chance. It was incredible. Um, you know, the amount of history there just, was awe-inspiring to think about how many people have lived there and died there and just walked through those halls. So it was amazing and I'll probably be going back um, at some point. My parents are visiting at the end and I'm sure they'll want to go. And I am not sad about it. I would love to go again because I just thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna stop rambling now, <laughs> but you know, that, that was my little adventurous weekend in Scotland, my second or third weekend. I think it was my, it was my second weekend and hopefully there will be many more adventures on weekends to come.